Right guys, we're back again. Change of scenery. We're in the Fiesta and it's not in the unit. We do have an MOT slip. Unfortunately, it is not good news. So we're going to drive up to Dale's work. He's kindly offered the services of the ramp for what we need to do because it'll be far quicker on the ramp. Um, so we'll drive up there and we'll let you know what we failed on. So, rear bushes are pumped. This is the best replacement for it. Poly ones, they'll no wear out quite like the old factory rubbers. Has absolutely rattled it out. What have you got to say for yourself? Fiesta King. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Like a glove. Obviously, that just replaces your OEM, yeah. and you get to be oh, beautiful. Absol oh, she's dripping. Flat finger she's in She's absolutely dripping. Wow. Advised on the MOT as well was that the aircon pipe wasn't secure. We did know about that. The rad pack we got, the aircon pipe had been cut. Presumably because it was actually seized into the condenser. So Dale, wonderfully, has actually managed to free that off. So this means we can regas it. And in the summer, we'll be able to have aircon. I've got to be all the pads were also a failure, so they've been changed. Just some cheapos just now. Ebola. Seat pads just now because down the line we might look into doing the likes of drilled and groove discs with better pads but for now we just need it on the road and just like that everything it was failed and advised on has been sorted they'll even had some led regulate bulbs so we'll show them in it so we'll get it down tomorrow for the retest and after it's been retested this won't be a separate video friday night we are going to do the first kind of well big mod and we'll kind of give you a walkthrough on how to do said big mod while we're here we may as well talk about this as well how good does white on white look this majorly makes me miss my old car but v2 inbound Right, what's happening? We're at the unit. All the lads are here, so it's rather noisy. Tonight's plan. The Fiesta is up on jack stand. We have a deal. Dale wants to act the big yan and then gets camera shy. We have a set of STX coilovers for the Fiesta. Standard arch gap is no bueno. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and kind of walk you through how to do it. One of the easiest cars to put coilovers on, to be fair. So what we'll do is we'll start with the back first, because that's the easiest bit. So rear set up, solid beam. You've got your two bottom shocky bolts. And that will release your springs enough to pull them out. So then you've got your two top bolts for the shoe. Okay. Up in there. If you can see them. Two thirteens. Get them out, then the whole shock will drop. So I was completely wrong, it was 10 mils, but once you undo them, the whole shock just comes out. Bring that to the side. And then just press on the spring. You get your standard spring out. So, exactly same again, other side, two 10 mils at the top. Real shock. In the bean. Push that down. 
Old spring. In the bin. So, new setup's in. I definitely didn't account for the top kind of rubbery foam sections. I, I think Powerflex does a replacement, so we might look into that. So, all we need to do, jack the axle up until the bolt hole lines back up, because obviously these are shorter than the standards. Get that through. Thread that in a wee bit. And then we will grab the torch. Head over to the other side. Same again. And thread it in a bit, make sure the threads have caught. And then we'll get the gun, wrap them up, and that's the reel done. So naturally, you've got to torque it to spec, obviously. So you take Bertha. So obviously, ABS wire off of there. Gonna need a trim tool for that one because it is a wee bit tight. I don't want to rip the cable. You've got your 10 mil bolt round there. Take the brake pipe off. Aye. Uh, take three. And then your two pinch bolts, undo them, hub comes forward, Jed is currently listening the top ones for us, so let's get it done. So unfortunately, the drop link fought us, so it's been cut out. New coilover is in, however, so we just need to bolt this side back up and then get the other side done. So the coilovers are done, it's definitely lower than it was, but it's no bueno. Would lower it, but the ST coilovers have plastic collars. The hammer and chisel is splitting them, which is not ideal. And I don't have any C spanners here, but it's definitely a bit better. If you know, you know, it'll probably end up on air anyway, even though I'll say it won't. But Haha. <laughs> 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 we'll take it out, we'll see how it drives. Not ideal because it's still not got the power of the white one. It'll never be the white car, but we try. I'm not sure if the video will end here or if I'll take any videos tomorrow. Me and the lads, there we are, the lads, are going up to Knock Hill tomorrow to watch the open track day. So we're all probably going to look at all these track fiestas and go, yeah, let's build track cars and then never actually see a track. But we'll see what happens. As you'll have seen there, we did make it to not kill him back with the Fiesta. It drove spot on. Um, did run into a minor little kind of issue with the clutch pedal being a bit, when you come up, it kind of sticks and then pings. 
seems to be a common problem with them that slaves go in, so maybe it's a justification of putting an ST200 clutch in it to take any power increase. It actually looks really good. Um, so from here on out, it's just tidying it up and modifications. We have a K brace and eyebrows to get fitted through the week. Um, eyebrows I'm going to colour match anyway and I have actually been down Adrian's had a look over the car he's gave me kind of the prices of what he needs for tidying up some of the bodywork so hopefully we'll get around to that soon so obviously that's it for this video uh, I did actually forget to mention that nice wee tinted sunstrip there because the windows on these are massive and it's required <laughs> Thank you.